All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to see whereabouts of this app.tsx file and index.tsx file. And I'm presuming that you know React a little bit, because if not, you would find a playlist in the description which would take you through React concepts real quick. You can watch the playlist at 2x, 2.5x, whatever. Right. So, yeah, just go ahead, watch, watch that through completely and you would be good to go here. So starting off from index.tsx still, I'll just I'll just go through this real quick. If you want to just brush up your React skills as well along the way, we import React and React on. The reason we import React is because we are making use of JSX here, which gets transpiled into react.create, create, react.create uh, react element. Oops element ele ment right and this would be app something like that right so this is jsx it's transpiled into this thing so that's why we need this but anyway we're going to keep it like that then we need react dom which is the renderer for um, working with react applications on the web then we import our main project and we import a service worker right so a service worker basically just means that you are able to make your application offline Right, so this has use cases in web projects as well, in mobile projects as well. But for now, we can just, um, you know, unregister it just like they did it, or maybe you can just get rid of this altogether. Right, so it's not really needed right now. So we can just get to just keep it to this. Right. So we have our app now. For the app part, what we have in here is we just do our imports. Right, we have some sort of imports. And I'm not really getting into CSS imports because it's it's just required by Ionic, honestly. So it's just the core CSS required for Ionic components to work. Now what Ionic does is basically these guys, what they do is they make the HTML and CSS components so well, so nice looking and native looking with CSS and HTML that you're going to presume that you're working with a native app, right? So they're pretty pretty good at copying um, how native elements look inside the HTML and CSS world. And these CSS styles are the styles which enable them to do that. So you're going to just import them, import them real quick, right? So these are the core styles. Uh, these are the basic styles. These are the optional styles, so all that stuff. Then um, these are some theme variables, right? So you can just look them, look at them, modify them if you want. Then finally, we have this app section, which looks pretty similar to how a React component looks like. In fact, it is a React component. You can see that it conforms to the React.functional component type, right? Um, it does not accept any prop because we are not really passing any, right? We don't need any prop in here. Then finally, we start our application with ion app, right? Which indicates that this is the start of our application. Then we want, obviously, inside an app, we want different, different screens which is possible only when you have a router, a routing based system in place. Now with the React on the front end, the common practice is to make use of the React router DOM package, right? But with Ionic, Ionic ships with its own React router. You can see this is Ion, Ion React router. Right here we imported from Ionic React router, right? So you can just get into the internals as well if you want. Well, we are right now just jumping in definition files. But anyway, you see, uh, we, are, we are getting through this. So yeah, anyway, so we're gonna take a look at Ion React Router later on in the web series. And then finally, we can just specify the paths as route routes, just like you would do with React Router DOM and uh, all this information, which we're gonna cover in the React routing, uh, in the Ionic routing section. So yeah, to me, I guess the application right now looks pretty, pretty simple and straightforward right then we have the pages folder which is the home folder which is the one which is rendered um, right here you can see as the component which is rendered on home path and when you're on the root page it gets redirected to home page so essentially we just have a single route with the home one right or we can just you know just maybe do something like this because why the hell not right so yeah and you do not really need to pass this this would be fine so yeah that's how it's gonna work so yeah that's all for this video in the next one we're gonna see some output and get our hands on with some coding part so that's all for this video don't forget to like thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one